So during school, I devoted extra time, uh, 10, to, 10 to 20 hours a week uh, in simulation to modify my non-standard technique to be considered and to be safe, which was determined by multiple professors from the university as well as clinical professors in the anesthesia arena. Right? So one of the things that comes to mind readily when uh, I think about things that I knew that I would have to do with, without modification or with modification is this um, pop-off valve is, is prime example. I would have to reach because I, I can't stand straight up and, and just reach and do it, but I have to reach over. So what I found that would work in my mind the easiest was an adjustable um, tighten, pipe tightener here. And I could just place this right over the cap and it provides a little bit of friction. So I can quickly and safely reach over and turn it to where I need the appropriate amount of pressure. And then uh, that was, you know, one of the things. The other things could be or were the development of the shorter prosthetics to make it easier for me to manipulate fine motor skills within the airway. Because as you know, whenever we intubate the patient, sometimes it's not a perfect view. Sometimes there could be secretions. Sometimes there could be extra tissue where we don't see a clear view of the glottic opening. And to be able to manipulate the endotracheal tube with my prosthetic, I knew that I needed to make something shorter, short as possible, to be able to have it a myoelectric to function on its own based off of my impulses and my stub to achieve the appropriate angle and manipulate that. Um, I guess we manipulate the endotracheal tube um, more distally than a lot of other people manipulate the endotracheal tube proximally.